For question number 25, we know that out here both the triangles share a common side which is AB. Hence, AB is congruent to AB as given out here. Also, angle C is congruent to angle D. So if I have a 90 degree angle out here, angle C and angle D are congruent, this particular angle, let's label this as angle theta, and this particular angle also would be congruent. And angle C would be alpha, and angle D would be alpha. Because since this is a right angle triangle, one known angle, which is alpha, and another known angle, 90, would be enough to find out angle theta, which would be same for both the triangles. Hence, angle C A B is congruent to angle A B D. So we have two angles and we have one side. So we would apply the angle angle side criteria, which is that if two angles of a triangle and the side opposite one of those angles are congruent, to the corresponding parts of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. If you look at all the other options, we do not have that much information to prove any of them. However, out here we have two angles and one side given to us. The side being AB and the two angles out here being alpha and theta. And also out here, opposite to alpha, we have given AB, which is a criteria in option A. So option A is a correct answer.